Hey internet, Rob Pincus here. I'm uh, at Reno Guns and Range. I'm out on the range. We were doing a bunch of shooting today. You may have seen the video I put up earlier. We were testing a uh, buddy of mine's getting into doing some reloading stuff and uh, gave me a squib round yesterday from his first batch. Today we wanted to shoot a thousand rounds of it. I had a bunch of firearms. I wanted to do some testing. It's kind of a day off day at the range uh, as the tour comes down to an end. I've got Three more classes left, all up in uh, Washington State. So I've got uh, class coming up, uh, pistol and rifle classes coming up up there. PDMTrainingTour.com, you can learn more about that. But why I'm actually doing the video today is I was, I was kind of amazed. The internet got really mad because when I shared the news about the squib load, which was kind of like a heads up, hey, if, if your buddy's new to reloading, like make sure he's doing all the right things. If, if you're new to reloading, make sure you're doing all the right things to make sure that everything is uh, safe. Right, and of course, also you know, there's this, this balance we play when it comes to hang fires or squib loads. When you're into defensive shooting, and you're firing around, uh, you're firing rounds out, and you get a click or you get a, any kind of a, a failure to fire, a failure to cycle completely. You know, our, our job as people interested in defensive firearms use is to immediately try to clear that malfunction. That might mean tap rack. That might mean you know, strip the magazine. It might mean you think you think you have a reload situation. You drop the mag and you actually don't, you create uh, a situation where you have to clear all of the uh, malfunction issues, whatever it is, double feed, stove pipe, doesn't matter, right? We teach non-diagnostic linear malfunction clearing, which means you're processing information, hopefully based on recognition and feel. So what had happened was I had a, uh, essentially a click, but there was that, that cap sound when it's just the primer, and I did the tap and went to do the rack, and then realized, wait a minute, that wasn't right at all, and kind of reprocessed in my head, squib load, and just, God, I thought it was funny. So I shared it, but nobody really cared. Well, a lot of people cared. They, I don't think around. There was this component of people, component, this group on the internet who was like so mad that I happened to be experimenting. It was the very first shot that I was firing out of one of these uh, full conceal folding glocks, right? So now all this is clear. We'll show you that. No squib. We cleared that. And uh, since then, we have actually gone ahead and, and fired some actual rounds out of this thing. And uh, it, it, it's kind of neat. I think it's neato, in fact. It goes all the way to neato. It folds up, it then unfolds, and you can fire it right away. I think that's kind of neat. It, it's real clever engineering. As somebody who's you know, building his own gun, starting a, a gun manufacturing company, I think the fact that these guys learned how to cut a perfectly good gun in half uh, or so, or maybe a third of it off the bottom, and then make it work really well, and, and they've done some really neat things in the middle here to make sure it's safe, I think that's super cool. So. I thought it was neato, and I think to check it out, it's uh, based on a Glock 43, obviously, full conceal, folding gun, uh, and again, like, I get it, like, I'm Mr. Passionate, like, yeah, sure, there's a million things you can do with guns, but I am a defensive trainer, and I'm into defensive training. I guess maybe there's a misunderstanding that anything you see me pictured with must be something I endorse or think is neato, but I got a bunch of new stuff, so I thought, if the folding Glock made so many people mad, like, maybe you need to know, like, I get new stuff all the time, right? I've got this, this fancy slide, right? Like, I don't think slide cuts are really that great of an idea or anything that's necessary, but it seems like a lot of people on the internet love them. Let's see if they love this one. I don't know. This is from POF, uh, the Gentleman Series. So this is on a, a Glock 19 also. You can put one of the little red dot sights. Heck, you can even put regular sights on there, iron sights or a red dot sight, whatever you might want. You put a front one in there. I don't think you can load it through there, even though that looks like a bullet. But, you know, that's something to consider. Another thing that I got that was new, that you may or may not like, I got uh, a new... New build uh, for a new PD-10 build is number 61 on this frame series. I think 61, yeah. So I got that. So maybe you hate that. I don't know. Maybe you love it. Let me know. You can let me know in the comments which of my new things you hate or love. Uh, this is my uh, POF uh, 308 Revolution pistol with a white uh, Silencer Co. Chimera. And it's, it's actually kind of silverish, but they call it white. I think that's pretty cool. So that's neat. Um, maybe you hate that. I don't know. Uh, you may have seen me shooting the Strybog a lot. Uh, the Strybog is a uh, new, this is the semi-automatic A1 version, uh, 9mm. This is a pistol. It's in a long gun type of configuration because it's a braced pistol. Uh, so that's, I don't know if you hate that. I like, I like it. I think it's neat. A lot of students have shot it. They like it. Maybe there's only about 200 of them in the country, so you probably haven't shot one. But you may have a really strong opinion about it, even though you haven't shot it. There's a lot of that on the internet. I got, uh, I got this. I got a, a 911, which is kind of like uh, an evolved version of a small subcompact single action 1911 style 380. This is from Springfield. But the reason I, I got this one is because it has a, a cool, grippy pressure green laser from Viridian. So that's neat. Um, I got 
a, I got a new beverage also. For, I went to Wendy's for lunch, and it's not really new. I, I haven't had a Dr. Pepper in a long time, but I, maybe you hate Dr. Pepper. I don't know. You love Dr. Pepper. Let me know in the, in the uh, comments. So I got a new beverage. I got a new uh, gun bag. I got that. I got a nice little Viridian gun bag with the 911 that has that thing in it. I got a new medical kit. It's kind of the same ankle medical kit I've been using, but you can see the stitching here. This is the second gen SF responder, and it's got some, uh, some plasticky, real rubbery kind of, uh, what does it do? It creates friction in there so that the plasticky medical stuff doesn't pop out, uh, which happened occasionally with, with level one. So maybe you hate medical gear, or maybe you sell your own kit to carry medical gear, so you're going to shit on this one. That would be very internet-like. Um, I got a new battery pack for my phone. Uh, I, got, uh, I got some new brake pads for my car. I'm a little dirty. We were kind of messing around with that. Um, I don't know. Let, me know. let me know in the comments what you hate the most, internet, especially if you haven't used it or, or experimented with it or uh, held it, shot it, ever been in the presence of it, because I think that's probably the most important thing is that you have an opinion on it I'm actually trying to form opinions on a lot of this stuff. So that's why I actually get it in my hands, come out on the ranges. I show it to a lot of students, give it to different people, let them experience it. I can just kind of sit back and watch other human beings that aren't me, that don't have you know, decades of experience working professionally in the firearms industry, whether it be from a training standpoint or helping with manufacturing or promotions or marketing, or just being a, a student of the gun, if you will, you know, being someone who's taken I don't know, hundreds, maybe a thousands of hours of training, uh, whether it's, you know, from law enforcement or, you know, a brief time I spent in the military or private security. But I'm actually out here doing the thing of experimenting and learning and observing and trying to figure things out. I do sometimes criticize things on the internet. Let's, let's not forget that. There's some things I see where I think, wow, that's actually not a thing. <laughs> it shouldn't be a thing. Um, so I get that part too. But, you know, maybe in the comments when you tell me why you hate this stuff, I'll learn something, but if you just hate it, I don't know, just give it a thumbs down and I don't have to bother with all the reading and actual brain work.